In robotic lacquered locomotion, fluidic actuators are well known to perform at very high power densities. Fluidic actuators are often implemented through linear piston type actuators with a high torque and velocity output. However, these systems have a few inherent disadvantages. The working range of linear piston type actuators can be limited through self collision. Through their geometry, their lag angle changes in a nonlinear manner depending on the piston's working length. As another option, rotary fluidic actuators have been implemented for lagged robots by inserting vane type actuators into the joints. These rotary fluidic actuators combine the advantage of high power output with the linear torque angle characteristic. In contrast to piston type fluidic actuators, they can be designed for a larger working range. But vane type actuators are often mechanically complex and heavy. In biology, it is known that spiders apply rotary fluidic actuation to move their legs. Spiders have eight legs, each divided into seven leg segments. Specifically, the joint between the third and fourth leg segment, called femopatella joint, and between the fifth and sixth, the tibia metatarsis joint, are extended through rotary fluidic actuation using blood. When looking closer into these joints using scanning electron microscopy, it could be observed that spiders have a foldable membrane between these leg segments. Furthermore, spiders have a hybrid actuation system, using their blood to extend and muscles to flex their legs. Inspired by this actuation system and joint structure, we designed and modeled a pneumatic and tendon-driven robotic joint. The spider-inspired joint consists of a flex hole release mechanism actuated by a 300 to 1 gear DC motor to flex the two leg segments via strings. Air pressure is pumped into the chamber, which is formed by cascaded shells and an internal custom-designed bag. The freely rotating shells create a constantly perpendicular angle between leg parts and membrane segments. These segments are hinged at the center and radially acting forces are redirected without affecting the output torque. This leads to a very efficient conversion of chamber pressure into joint extension torque. If the torque is actuated by soft membranes, Bulging volumes and radial force components can lead to losses when pressurizing the volume. All of this emphasizes the importance of creating arc-shaped membranes similar to what we see in fluidic actuated spider joints.